hi good morning and good evening I know there are people from different time zone so my name is Amit Sharma and today I'm going to walk you through with how to design OBA report called product line analysis in the previous session we discussed extensively about creating RPD uh, today onwards we're going to talk about creating OBA reports we'll be more focusing about case studies so we'll take a small case study and we we'll solve different business problem there are close to 130 case studies we'll be talking about in next three weeks of time and today we're going to talk about the first and simplest case study called product line analysis as we always do we relate our requirement with the business problem and understand step by step so the first step these are the set of activities I'm going to perform uh, in order to design our report the first step is always as usual will gather the business requirement understand the business requirement and then second step will prepare a report mock-up a sample report and then I'll show you how to gather the metadata details uh, we'll design our data model identify the dimension and facts understand your topology detail topology information what user inputs are required what role based access how information supply preparing report and final unit testing so you see in this case study I'm talking complete life cycle of any report development so let's uh, start start with the first step understanding business requirement see I've taken one requirement as a sample and we start building the solution step by step so the requirement over here says we need to identify product line based analysis based upon product line of business product brand product type and product name this requirement I have taken from a business design document from a business design document I got this information and I'm going to prepare my low-level design where I am going to put all this information into my LLD so the first step when I get some requirement I always prefer to create mock report or this is called report wireframe a sample report and I put some sample data and I ask my business user this is how your report would look like do you want the same format so this will save plenty of my time and I don't have to you know iteratively design the same reports again and again I also taken a snapshot of the sample report which I'm going to design over here with some sample data the next step in order to design the report we need to understand what is source of these column from which dimension of fact these columns are coming as you see very clearly written my requirement product line analysis consists of product details product brand type LOB and name and different years and the intersection of product brand and year is your sales or your revenue right so this data comes from what is source of this data every time you start building a report you have a data model with you and you should identify dimension and facts which is going to help you to prepare your report often this information is available in data dictionary I'm going to show you from where I got this information so in order to prepare this report I'm using two dimension over here product SAM product DR and time dimension and one fact table called revenue fact table it is obvious that you should have a very good understanding about your underlying metadata and the better you understand your metadata the right report you can design so in our sample case study we have taken a couple of dimension to design our solution I have taken three dimension of three time dimension I give you a quick brief about them so I have three dimension which talk about data and different level of granularity so if you look at my I have one time dimension at data granularity one it so I've got one year one time dimension year uh, quarter and month one of my time dimension has the most granular data at weeks and days the most granular data you can right click and look at the sample data as well this is your sample data so most granular element over here you can say day ID or day key every day sales we are capturing with this but uh, we have a uh, dimension and different grains so one dimension and day wise another dimension I create for time dimension it is for quarterly and we prefix a term called quarter or month month grain and quarter grain this will help us to understand in case people want data at month level it should be taken from this table this dimension 
So most granular element over here called month ID. Year, quarter, month. Year, half year and month. Fiscal year and fiscal month. And we also have calendar year and calendar month. Right? So most granular element over here month ID. Similarly, I have got another time dimension. The most granular element is time ID. So in our report, as per requirement, I need time dimension, right? I need time dimension and I need product details. And also need a fact table called revenue. So product details, information you can find from product dimension. And you see the couple of tables are there. We need product dimension. In fact, if you look at this, I have already designed a data model to demonstrate this. So you see, I've got product dimension, I've got time dimension, and revenue details. So D, D, D20 and 10 has the product details. Let's see this. D10 and 20 has product details. So this is my product table. I can view the sample data. It helped me to understand what exactly we need. So we have information about product brand, product line of business, and product description. Right, this is what we want and product type. This is what we wanted as per my requirement sheet. I needed product brand, LOB, type and name. And all the information I can find in these two table. Product, sample product DR and sample product revenue. So once you identify what dimension fact you needed, it is good idea to identify the respective column. What column contain the information and what keys? What is primary key and what is foreign key? Often this information you can find in your underlying data model. So when you right click and go to your property section of your model, most often you find this information. What are the keys? What are primary key? What is foreign key? Key, primary key and foreign key. These details you can find over here. So next step, you would list out all the dimension and facts needed in order to design this report. If you're not very sure what should be dimension fact, it's always a good idea to go back to your data modeler and seek their advice. Then I graphically show the model. Graphical presentation of model help me to easily understand what exactly we are going to design. So you see, I'm going to design a graphical model of my uh, metadata. So I'll select time dimension. I select product dimension. And I select my fact table time, product and fact. Right, this is what you wanted. Right click and look at the physical diagram view of it. This is a physical view which is perfectly tell me the information how dimension facts are related. Right, it is a graphical way. I can double click on any hyperlink, sorry, any join and give me brief information about how the dimension facts are joining. Right, I've taken a subset of my whole model. The complete model is really big and difficult for someone to easily understand in one go. So in a subsequent session, we decompose the whole complex model and redesign our report. So next step, you identify a graphical model. You should also understand what kind of hierarchy available in your report. What kind of hierarchy your business would like to see. Again, I go back to my business design document and I find this information from there. I've taken a piece of it. So my hierarchy is product brand, type, LOB and name. If you remember in a previous session, of product dimension hierarchy design, we design this hierarchy. Product brand, type, LOB and name. Let's see it quickly. This is my hierarchy of product dimension. This is under product, product brand, LOB, type and name. This is my hierarchy. We have done this session, uh, six, uh, six session number six, we discuss about this in detail, how to design hierarchy. And next, once you identify what dimension hierarchy you need, we need product dimension and time dimension. My time dimension is year, quarter, month, weeks and days. I can see over here my time dimension. Uh, it's on a time hierarchy. It's a calendar year, calendar quarter, calendar month and calendar weeks and most granular element over here days. I use this as per my requirement. I need this information. The next very important information you're supposed to know about your database connection. Where is your database connection? What is the underlying data source? Right? What is the IP address of your database? All this information, it's good to have it. 
we often keep this information in low level design design document so if somebody else need to modify the report they should have all information handy with them so product type, database type is rdbms server name and ip address in addition to this we also need to give take a user inputs this report should be interactive on user input so i say this report would be interactive when i click on year and time the product the report should be interactive and in order to support this i'll show you some existing dashboard so my report is quite interactive you see there are dashboard prompts given over here we'll see what are the dashboard prompts uh, in subsequent session so this is user input based upon user input your entire report would render or change so at the time of report design itself you identify the need of what are the user inputs my entire report with render depends upon my selection for example I I specify 2008 and 2009 and click on apply my report would render according to the selection you made so what how user like to input how you like to interact with my report I would list out over here that's called under user input next very important thing which we may not need now but we definitely need it when you supply this report to the business user for role based access who are my final consumer of this report so in this example when I look at my design document I get the information about it they say this report is primarily accessed by global product manager and sales analyst these are two groups business user group who are finally going to access my report and how reports are going to be supply one is called push and pull pull means I can connect to dashboard and navigate report this is one way uh, push would be I can schedule this report and I say this report would run or specific time schedule later on we'll talk about how to schedule this report we have a option over here called report scheduler we can associate any uh, report with action and specify what scheduler is associated with this right? we have option called scheduler report so it schedule on demand the report would be supply I can say schedule this report and I want this report to be run first every first first business day of every month so we set up this report this report would render or schedule first business day of every month and it should be supplied to my all user into their local desktop or email address so once you gather all the information we have got all the required information to start preparing our report this is a simple report just required drag and drop so I'll connect to my uh, analysis and I'll pull all the required information connect to my analysis my source is RDBMS all this information you can find under student guide and the lab guide which is shared with you well I need product details product hierarchy I need time details year dimension and intersection of product and time I need facts revenue right and I want this information to be displayed in cross tabular manner that's called pivot as per my requirement I am supposed to display this information in a cross tabular intersection rows and column in my column I have product in rows I've got years so I would select product and years and revenue click result by default when you select a hierarchy view the default view is your pivot view so this is how I exactly want this is my final output what I add I'll add a grand total over here at, at the last and I also want to ensure the column format is currency so it's already currency it is not required to modify I can quickly check over here under revenue I go to uh, column properties under data format you see I want it to be currency type and I can choose a specific currency and decimal places right it is already set in my case so it is not needed however it, if you do not find them you supposed to explicitly specify them as currency next I would add a grand total so you see there's an option called edit click on edit view and 
right click on your revenue we want a grand total of rows or column I want grand total of columns I want grand total of all the years so I select over here you see the symbol called total click on total and specify after before or after I say after so grand total gets calculated right and I would also add a title to make my report elegant I click on edit option of title and say add title called product line analysis and I can add a logo over here some image you can take some image I'm taking one sample image over here of date or time take an image over here and if you need a subtitle you can also specify I'm going to display date and time you can add a subtitle you can also add a uh, help link for example I'm going to add a help link over here www.bisptrainings.com help dot html right save it and that's it your report gets ready as per your business requirement the final step which I always prefer to do I like to capture the SQL query so that I understand how my OBI is communicating with database so you can go to your log section administration query log in case your query is coming from database you can see the query so the time which you see in my system is uh, GMT time and click on view log I can see the complete query which render as a result of my selection right. in subsequent session we see how to interpret this query so right now I just take a uh, snapshot of this query this is my query take a copy of it and put it into my system in a subsequent session we will try to analyze how OBI generates a query so I have chosen over here revenue and year you see as per my selection my query render year and revenue right and there are a couple of dimensions and fact and this is how they are joining so this is how you can create one simple report in a subsequent session we create more complicated report like performing index to company average trend analysis product details and daily revenue so do watch keep watching BISP uh, OBI learning tutorial thanks for joining today call if you should should you have any question please reach out to us www.bhpsolutions.com once again thank you and have a good day ahead